Hey, yo, what's up? It's Dante Jones from Day. I'm here with Output today. I'm about to give you guys a little glimpse on the how I started an idea to do a beat in 6 a. On the album, we have three songs that are in 6 a. You know, you don't really hear that with, with urban music too much. Everything's normally like sitting back. But when you really think about it with like black music, you know, you think like Otis Redding, Sam Cooke, they had a lot of songs that were in 6 a. I try to do my best to, to try to bring it back and, um, you know, really just do, do music that I like. I think that's what's most important to me. I usually just start off with like a super simple little loop just to have something to go off. Maybe like a melody first. <laughs> It's like a little loop just to get going. From there I'll hop in and start kind of playing around with the sounds. Like I'm a big Isotope fan. I've been using their stuff for a long time. Make it very easy to have a bunch of tools at your disposal. It's another one, vinyl. Give a little wiggle to it with the pan man. Like I said, the fun part is sitting here tweaking. People act like it's genius, but it's really just like, it's fun. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Something just fits over this, you know what I'm saying? Something's gonna let the current melody do its thing and just add that extra little bit of rhythm to it. There we go, get my loop right. So about once a month I'll go through and I'll make a drum rack of just new drums just to have me inspired. I like to just have the drums just quick just to kind of run through as opposed to like going through and picking through a bunch of sounds every week. Like, don't be afraid to use certain sounds that like may not make sense on paper. One of my favorite things to do is use like scissors and shit, just like random kind of found sound type of things. But like, of course, like instead of hi hats, like maybe use scissors. Maybe use like a, a clip sound or something. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of different things that you could do that aren't, and you know, you're still creating rhythm. I love to just add some some hits, some texture. Oh, you see, this is like distorting and it has a tail, but just adding that little bit of hiss to it just gives it like a more vintage texture. Last but not least. Bit of bass in there. I came up with a nickname for myself. I call myself the boy with the bass lines. But yeah, it's just finding that groove and you just build on top of that. I know we build up as much as I can in like a 16, 8, or like maybe sometimes 32 bar like loop or whatever, and then just start stripping it back from there and taking things out and then, and then from there, it's just like writing a song, you know what I'm saying? I always like to get the track, as much as the track done before I start like laying down melodies or Drew will come in and he'll start laying down some melodies or whatever, but you know, for the most part, it starts off just like a simple little like music loop, and then we just kind of build from there and experiment with our voices and stuff. You do, once you get like a dope melody, I think that's the main thing that you have to really try to conquer whenever you're, you're thinking about songwriting is just, you know, getting a really sick melody, 
um, lyrics and it, like a concept that really fits with that. And then just from there, it's just about creating different moments throughout. So you guys have got a little glimpse into the process of uh, you know how I do. This is you know obviously just five minutes of me just messing around, but you know this is a little bit of like how I get going, just like create a little loop and then start just writing from there. So thank you guys so much for getting a little glimpse. Don't tell everybody the secret stuff. So.